Okay, hi, thanks for joining us for another one of Family Marines videos. Um, if you've been watching part one of this series, uh, we're talking about a 2023 Barletta pontoon. It's called a Lusso 23 UC, which stands for um, Ultra Lounge with a co pilot's chair. And um, what I'm going to do, and this again is going to be a long video because there's so many things that I want to talk about. There's so many features, advantages, and benefits that this pontoon has. It's going to be a while, so I hope you've got some time to watch this whole video because I'm going to thoroughly go through and explain about all the different features that this boat has. Okay, so starting up in the bow of the pontoon, um, one of the first things that you'll notice with this pontoon is the seat cushions, the thickness, the softness. Oh my gosh, you just sink right down into them like it's your big lazy boy in your living room. They are ultra comfortable. And that is due to what we call multi-density foam. So in other words, starting at the top of the seat, it's soft, it's a little more firm, it's a little more firm as you go down through the seat. The reason that we want it more firm is to support your weight and so that you don't bottom out on the board on the bottom of the, of the seat. A lot of companies use a single density foam and eventually if you sit in it long enough, yes, you're gonna, your butt's gonna hit the board on the bottom of this seat cushion and it becomes uncomfortable. So yeah, these are very thick, very plush, very comfortable seat. The angle is ergonomically correct to my back. I've got good support on my lower back. I've got good support underneath my legs. You'll notice how the seat curves through here, giving us a very attractive appearance, but more importantly for long-legged guys like me, it supports my legs underneath here, making it much more comfortable to sit for a longer period of time. And of course, all these seats are on hinges. And there's our storage compartment underneath there. And that is dry storage. There is a drain track that you see here with a hole to drain out any water that might get down in there. There's also drains going through the floor and there's also vents so that if you did put something wet down in there, at least it has a chance to start to dry out. Now, soft touch vinyl feels, everybody thinks, oh, that's suede or that's leather. Well, no, it's vinyl. It just feels very, very soft. Looks, has that matte finish to it. It's not shiny like what we used to have in these pontoons. Very attractive upholstery and, and very comfortable to sit on. And then I love the way they did their diamond stitching in here. This is a vented material. Just kind of gives you that contrast to the smooth. And then of course we have our double French seams where everything is double stitched. Piping throughout the seat, double stitch French seams. Up front we have a cup holder. Okay, let's talk about the cup holders first uh, for a minute. Something new for 2023, it's, it's been an option in the past, is inside each cup holder throughout the pontoon is an LED light. It's a RGB, a red, green, blue. And there's a knob on the dash that you can turn that will change these lights different colors. You can push the knob and it'll flash and it'll blink and it'll be a disco effect if you want, okay? So that's kind of cool. And then again, something new for 2023 are these seat pockets. They have a very, very attractive grab handle down here. They have a USB jack and the new one with the little red thing in it. I forget what that's called, Corey. Do you remember what that's called? It's a G type or something like that. It's S type. It's the newest type of USB that allows your cell phones to be charged more quickly than what the regular USB is. I've got that on my new iPhone. I have an iPhone 13 or something like that. Okay, and then of course behind there we have our stereo speaker, a couple of cup holders down inside there with RGB lighting in them. And something new is our Luso badging down here. Kind of adds a little bit of extra touch. Of course, the front chase lounges have the flip-down armrests. All right. Okay, um, down in the sole of the front of the pontoon is another anchor storage locker. This is also standard. It used to be an option last year. 
it's now standard. What was an option on the uh, uh, Corsa, it was standard on the Lusso. So this anchor storage is now standard with the Lusso. Great place to store your anchor. All right. Something that I didn't pay much attention to, this does a nice stainless steel rail up across the top of the, of the gate. And you'll notice your gate stop down there. So when your gate is open, it's not flopping around on you. That gate stop holds it in place. And you'll notice the struts for, that support the fencing that go all the way from the top of the fencing down and are bolted into the floor. That makes this fencing very, very stout. There's no flexing to it. Um, and that's one of the, another one of the reasons that they talk about rattle-free in the Barletta pontoons. Okay, uh, something new for 2023 is also this um, uh, subwoofer vent. So behind this grill, the speaker grill, is the subwoofer. The L-Class models come with, um, on an ultra lounge anyway, comes with six speakers, an amplifier, and a subwoofer, and this is where the sound comes out from your subwoofer. Now, also very nice to have is your trash can. Everybody needs one of those. Nice convenient area to put that. I mentioned earlier that the storage compartments are vented. That's what that little square rectangle stainless steel cover plate is down there. That's a vent. Now, we used to sell a lot of cockpit tables, pedestal type of cockpit tables. And although there is a pedestal type of cockpit table available for this boat, it has a standard table. And it's built in to the back side of the front chase lounge. So what we do is we open that up, we extend, there's two legs, we extend them to the proper length, and now we have a table in the center of the pontoon, so it's convenient to get to for people in the front of the boat or the back of the boat. That's a neat feature. As I said earlier, underneath here is our subwoofer. So, we've not sold very many pedestal type of cockpit tables lately because this is standard. Um, new helm for this year. So the first thing that you'll see is we do have a glove box there. So a nice convenient place to put things, sunglasses, wallets, car keys. And you'll also notice all these little white dots. Those are actually circuit breakers for all the accessories on board the boat. We're not using fuses, we're using circuit breakers. So let's say, for example, one of the accessories quits working. And the first thing you do is open up your door and see if one of these is popped out. If one of those is popped out, it's like your, ho your house, your circuit breaker panel in your house. If your circuit breaker panel in your house is tripped, there's something wrong. You've used too much amperage and that breaker tripped, there's a short circuit, and that breaker tripped. For some reason, something is wrong breaking that, or popping that breaker. Same thing here, if one of those circuit breakers pop out, yes, that's an indication that there's something wrong. Maybe it got overused and it got too hot and blew the circuit breaker. Yeah, it's possible. If that's the case, you simply push the button back in and the accessory goes back to working. You can lock that too. Of course, down here is our ever popular pet food tray. People really love that. Okay, I mentioned earlier our ski storage locker in the sole of the boat, and that is down here. Right now we've got our storage cover. You know, since I'm talking about the storage cover, I forgot to mention when I was on the outside of the boat that the storage cover doesn't use snaps. A lot of pontoons are still using snaps. There's actually little clips in there sewn into the cover. And there's a slot underneath this rail on the outside, right on the bottom of this rail, all the way around the boat, this, there's a slot. And those clips that are in the cover 
clip into the slot in the bottom of this rail, making it very, very easy to clip your cover on and off. Many of us have struggled with those snaps for many, many years. Um, they're hard to get on and off. They pull out of the cover. We hit the dock and they get damaged. There's multiple reasons why those snaps are not very functional. They're inexpensive, but they're not as functional as what the J-clips are. Now, something new for 2023 is, let me move this cover out of the way. A storage drawer. That's kind of nice. If you want to put things that you want to keep private, secret, so they don't get stolen, that's a good spot to put them because nobody knows it's down there. It's basically hidden out of the way. Clips in, stays shut. Now, I mentioned earlier that in the bottom of this ski storage locker is an automatic bilge pump. So if you get rainwater down in there, the automatic pump will automatically pump it out and shut itself off. Nice feature to have. Again, there's a switch on the dash that you can turn it on manually if you choose. Okay, now, so here's the feast of resistance on this boat. As I mentioned earlier, this is called an ultra lounge. You move the ultra lounge to see it. I'll tell you what, people absolutely love this ultra lounge. It's so fun. I love it because when we and the, the, we, we take guests out, what ends up happening is the guys tend to sit back in this area and the gals tend to sit up front. So what's kind of nice is conversation uh, pit, and of course the gals have their little conversation pit up front. But when we're out with the family, what we what we like to do is if let's say we're pulling the kids on tubes or skis or something. The, the, the guests can lay here and watch the tubers and skiers. That's simply what we call a flip-flop. Sit facing forward, you can lay facing backwards. Now, the other thing that this does is simple and easy to lay all the way down. So you got a nice, great big bed back here. Cup holders galore, LEDs inside the cup holders. Down below here are two speakers and two more LEDs. In the back are two more speakers and two LEDs. Over here is a grab handle and a USB jack so you can plug in your cell phone to charge it. All right, now, here's what my wife and I like to do. First of all, let me lay this down for a second. If we want, what we can do is lift these two cushions up at a 45 degree angle to make a forward chase facing chase lounge. So some people like that. What I can also do is lift these two up to make a rear facing bench seat. That one will lift up the same way. So um, what I can do if I want is lift up the flip flop Okay, and so I can have seating for three here, seating for three in the back, facing the stern. Now my wife and I, we like to go to the sandbar, and uh, we'll anchor, and we'll sit back here, and everybody's walking around, having fun, having a cold, refreshing beverage, and we've got a nice, comfortable place to sit in the back of the pontoon. I love it. Since I'm here, I just wanted to point out that the flagpole and the flag is now standard for 2023. That's kind of nice. So the Ultra Lounge, yeah, oh my gosh, it's so functional. There's so many things to do with it, so many ways to use it. It's absolutely wonderful. Now, we, over here, we have a battery shutoff switch. Depending on the model of pontoon that you go with, this happens to be a Lusso. So the Lussos are gonna have two batteries and built in with this switch is what's called a voltage sensitive relay. 
And what that does is you have one battery for your engine and one battery for your boat. And let's say that because of the stereo, the amplifier tends to use up a lot of voltage out of your boat battery. Okay, so you're sitting at the beach listening to your music and this battery gets way down and this one's fully charged. What a voltage sensitive relay will do is send the amperage from the alternator on the engine to the battery that needs it the most. So in this case, the alternator on the engine will charge this battery, bringing it up to full charge, without overcharging this battery. Because you don't want to overcharge because you'll ruin a battery. So that's what a voltage sensitive relay does. Now if it's a single battery, like in a cabrio, then of course we don't have a voltage sensitive relay. Alright, now also in the back, for those who have little tykes, this is kind of important, you have a gate. You can close your gate, you can keep the dogs, you can keep the kids inside the cockpit. So that's an important safety feature. Okay, on the helm, um, first of all, you have a five position tilt wheel. I love the new steering wheel. It's a gorgeous steering wheel. And you can notice that the B for Barletta spins, so it always stays level, right? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Um, all of our lighted switches, now I don't have a battery in this boat right now, but these push button switches will light up when you turn them on. They go from red or blue, letting you know that the switch is on. Red being off, blue being on. Okay? Um, we have our gauges here. This is a tachometer. It also has in this LCD screen, it has a voltmeter, it has a compass, and it has an hour meter built into that LCD screen. Over here is our speedometer. And then this one has the Simrad. Now, a Simrad uh, 7 inches standard on this pontoon on a Luso. And because this is a digital throttle and shift, there's a multitude of information from your engine going to the Simrad. You'll have your fuel gauge, your voltmeter, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all built in with the Simrad. Um, if you want to know more information about the Simrad, there's a separate video that we do down in our miscellaneous section. I think it's playlist seven is our uh, miscellaneous section. Okay, now over here is our uh, um, Audison uh, stereo system. It is Bluetooth. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this has a six speaker sound system in it. And then right below that is our lighting switch for our RGB lights, our red, green, blue lights. Um, we turn it on. Again, I don't have a battery in here and that'll turn on all the cup holder lights and all the lights throughout the boat. We can turn it to get different colors. We can push and hold it to make it flash uh, different themes in, in uh, flashing mode. So that's pretty cool. Right up here is our wireless cell phone charger. So we can just set our cell phone there. Now the thing I like about that is it's out of the sunlight. I have had cell phones overheat when I'm out using my boat because I'm setting it on a black dash and the sun's beating down on it and the phone gets too hot. So here we have a little hood over the, ba over the cell phone when we're charging it. That way it doesn't overheat. Down below is our USB jack along with our eighth inch. And now this one is hooked to the stereo. So if we wanted to listen to our music via a cord, we can use that. But as I mentioned, the stereo is Bluetooth. Down below here is our ignition switch, our safety lanyard, our canopy. This is for our electric canopy, so we can raise and lower our electric bimini top. And then over here is a power outlet. You know, let's say you wanted to plug in a handheld spotlight or something like that, you can plug that in. That's just a 12 volt power outlet. This being a digital throttle and shift engine, this is a DTS control box. So it's very smooth to shift this. Some people think it's too smooth. You've got to get a little used to it because there's no clunking like there used to be. It's just such a smooth operation. Um, it's a very, very nice shift and throttle system. Like all the Barlettas, you'll notice the amount of legroom that I have underneath the dash. 
I just absolutely love this because I don't like flying on airplanes because you have to sit like this for Lord knows how many hours and my knees get sore. On this pontoon, to be able to sit and stretch my legs out and relax, I just love it. Um, it's so much more comfortable for me to stretch my legs out, drive across the lake. I might spend an hour or two behind the helm. Um, it's just so much more comfortable. Same with these captain's chairs. We got the high back captain's chairs. They're cushy, they're multi-density foam, they're soft, they're comfortable, they're supportive, they're ergonomically friendly. Um, I just, it, it, it's, it's wonderful. The new helm, um, I love the new helm. It's just a gorgeous looking helm. Golly, it looks like something out of a jet airplane, doesn't it? it they've done a fabulous job on the design, the structure, the features, everything that's built into this helm. My gosh, it's just fabulous. The double stitching, how this is two separate pieces, the contour, they've done a great job on it. Okay, so that kind of covers things for the Luso 23UC. Um, if you'd like any more information, feel free to give us a call. Uh, our phone number is area code 320-222-BOAT. That's 222-2628. You can check out our website, which is familymarineboats.com, or go to our YouTube page. If you go to YouTube at the top, type in Family Marine Wilmer, click that, you'll see our little round icon, click that, and that'll bring you to our page. Uh, there's just multitudes of videos about Barletta's and some of the other brands and equipment that we help people with here at Family Marine. So thank you very much for watching. We appreciate it.